Here we have the front and rear hub motors, both in a 500 watt. You'll notice that uh, the internals of the uh, hub motors are almost identical, the casings and such and so forth. The main differences here are going to be the axle length uh, between the two, the front being a standard 100 millimeters uh, between the axle, um, and then the standard 135 millimeters for the rear hub. Um, you'll notice that the rear hub has a thread-on piece for the uh, freewheel uh, type of cassette. Um, we uh, usually have to get one of those parts as a aftermarket thing as the standard now um, with most modern bikes is a cassette type uh, for um, this rear set of cogs. Taking a look now at the rear hub motor. Um, the installation for this, uh, the first beginning steps, uh, changing over the tire, the tire liner, uh, the rotor are going to be identical to the front wheel. Um, if we were to uh, take a look here at the wheel without the free wheel, um, the locking nut uh, is adjustable, um, which can be brought in and out uh, depending on um, the amount of gears that you have. You may need to add a spacer in between. Um, again, the lock washer will be on the inside and uh, when the free wheel is installed, um, there should be a small gap here where the uh, washer sticks out and then the disc should be lined up properly on the opposite side. So with the rear hub motors, uh, it is a spin-on free wheel uh, cassette type tool. Uh, that is needed to uh, remove and install this uh, particular set of cogs. Um, more modern bikes have the uh, cassette type, uh, so this would be an aftermarket piece that we purchased for the bike for this particular application. Um, for installation, I took a little bit of time to make sure that the uh, spacers were uh, in the correct uh, position, uh, made sure that the locking washer, uh, the locking nuts, and uh, the appropriate um, spacing was uh, all done up before um, installing the free wheel for the last time um, and then installing the wheel. This particular bike, uh, there is not very much room in between the uh, frame and the derailleur, so I went ahead and just removed the derailleur to tighten down these bolts here and then reinstalled it after the fact.